I do not want to have political violence towards my deputies or here in Bernalillo County. Criminals do not follow the law or a public health order. Never seen it, we will never see criminals follow the law. Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office will not enforce the governor's 30 day ban on the right to carry and the sheriff himself calling the order unconstitutional. Stacey Bonner was at that press conference where Sheriff John Allen addressed the controversy. I would really love us to focus on crime bills. Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen hopes the governor will consider a special session. We have to be harsher with those sentences. This after she announced the 30 day ban on open and concealed carry of guns in public places for the city of Albuquerque and Bernalillo County. This order will not do anything to curb gun violence other than punish law abiding citizens from their constitutional right to self defense. She knew we as law enforcement did not agree with the order. Allen rejecting the 30 day ban, voicing frustration with the governor's latest move. It is quite irritating for me to see how this 30 day ban completely overshadowed the robust conversations that we had with the governor in the office on what we are going to do to curb gun violence. The governor compelled to act following recent shootings over the past few weeks. We had arguments, but again, we had solutions. The latest, 11 year old Furlan Villegas shot and killed in a suspected road rage incident while leaving a baseball game with family Wednesday night. I will be asking the crime reduction director for our agency, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, to lead a task force of various law enforcement agencies to focus on crimes with firearms. Allen says other solutions to address violent crime could be met without imposing on the constitutional rights of others. We need to look at solutions to address violent crimes involving juveniles with firearms, adults with firearms, pretrial release, harsh state penalties for violent crimes, which also involve a firearm. The governor's office sending this statement, I don't need a lecture of constitutionality from Sheriff Allen. What I need is action. What we need is for leaders to stand up for the victims of violent crime. We need law enforcement, DAs, public officials, school leaders, and state agencies to use every single tool at their disposal to stop the violence, period. We've given you tools, Sheriff. Now stop being squeamish about using them. I will not back down from doing what's right, and I will always put the safety of the people of New Mexico first.